Morning everybody and welcome to Disney Springs. Disney Springs is Disney's restaurant, shopping and entertainment area. Um, just going to show you what's around, what's on offer at Disney Springs, should you wish to come here. Disney Springs opens at 10am in the morning and closes at 11.30 in the evening. It has a wide variety of shops as you'll see. Cirque du Soleil is here. My wife and son and daughter-in-law went to see that a few days ago. Ticket was £85 for the show, but it was highly recommended, they said. Really, really excellent show. Disney themed. Lots of the usual stuff you would expect from Cirque du Soleil. And it also has a wide selection of restaurants here as well. Uh, depending on what your palate and your taste, you'll probably find it here at Disney Springs. So I'll show you around. If you've got any questions or comments around Disney Springs, please do ask them in the comments below. Directory will give you an idea of what Disney Springs is like. Also, all of the shopping, entertainment and food options that are available. Obviously you can pause this at any time to have a bit more of a longer look. We've got the snacks and we've also got all the table service restaurants and there's obviously as you can see quite a few of them. These t-shirts are $22. Give you an idea of some of the prices as well while we walk around. Sweatshirts, $36. And the hoodies as an example. Let's see how much these are. The hoodies are $40 for that type of hoodie. Give you an idea of the gelato or ice cream. So now I'll take you in to see the largest Walt Disney World store in the world. The place is huge, offers every single thing you can possibly conceive of regarding Disney. Great place for your Disney years. There is a place in Disney Hollywood Studios where you can make your own lightsaber, which can be as expensive as about $200, $250. And you can also make your own droid as well. You can select the pieces you want to make the droid, go into the center of the shop and they help you assemble it, which is pretty cool. Disney have their own range of Pandora as well. So we're going to see what's on offer over here. Charms and different bits of jewelry. And you can take rides up in that balloon. We'll more about that later. The Disney Springs Lego store is directly opposite the world of Disney and adjacent to Lake Buena Vista. Expect to queue to get into the Lego store unless you get there at the time of opening about 10am. 
BB Wolf Sausage Company. Let's see what they have to offer. That's it. He's getting on for lunchtime. Tennessee barbecue dog looks good. another restaurant let's go and see what the menu is in here eat shop explore and discover build a dino in there build a dino workshop like a build a beer workshop gives you an idea of the food available appetizers soups and salads pasta seafood more often than not, you'll have to make a reservation to eat at this restaurant for lunch or dinner. If, however, you are staying at a Disney Resort, you can make a reservation for most of the restaurants in Disney Springs and the parks approximately 60 days out before your visit. Paddlefish is another restaurant. Let's see what they offer. Looks like an extensive menu walking over there. Oh, that's seafood. Seafood is definitely my favourite meal. Obviously you can pause the video at any time if you're thinking of coming here and just see what they have to offer. Really nice. You can also go for a trip around the lake on that boat car you can see there. Next to the Boathouse restaurant is where you can hire the water cars or empty cars. It is open between 10 and 8 p.m. daily and costs $125 per car, which can accommodate three to four people. Let's have a look at the menu of the Boathouse. Sure you can actually make reservations at the boathouse. We tried to on our first night and we wasn't able to make reservations. This area is called the Landing in Disney Springs. Again, more eating options and shopping. One thing they have now in the evening at Disney Springs is a drone show. It only started about a couple of weeks ago. But whereas some of the most of the other parks have fireworks and lasers, there's a drone show at Disney Springs, which is quite impressive from what I've seen on videos. And I think they may be Disney Vacation Club apartments. Just spent a fortune on my favourite apparel, Oakley. The balloon going up and I'll share the prices with you of how much it costs to ride on that balloon shortly. Paradiso, to the taste of North Central and South America. STK.
Italian seafood and grilled and pasta. Planet Hollywood in front. Raglan Road is a popular Irish pub and restaurant. It's particularly popular and busy in the evenings. Cool little pub here in um, Disney Springs. The hole in the wall. We'll see what drinks they do on draft. Guinness, Kilkenny's Irish beer, Harp Lager. Quite famous. Irish beers. And next to a fish and chip restaurant. There are a number of these stands selling alcohol and cocktails throughout Disney Springs. So that's the prices to go up in the air on the balloon. $29.99 for adults and $24.99 for children. Ages two and under travel free. And it goes up to 400 feet. Let's have a look what's in the Star Wars Galactic Outpost. For all Star Wars fans watching the video. The, we'll have to have that. Over here is where you can make your own lightsaber. Right to the Next door is the marble store. Let's go and see what's in there. Thank you, sir. Marble superhero headquarters.
So this is the famous Gideon's Bakehouse. There is always a queue to enter this shop and inside it is quite congested and cramped and it's quite difficult to turn if you have mobility skills up or push chair. Six dollars each for these cookies and to be honest I don't really like it. You can see the salt on it. The salt for me spoils it as an actual chocolate chip cookie. It's really overburdened with salt so I wouldn't recommend it personally Gideon's but again each to his own. Coca-Cola franchise with a restaurant on the top floor. Planet Hollywood. Gives you an idea of the prices in Planet Hollywood. As you can see, it isn't cheap to eat or snack in Disney Springs. And there is plenty of choice for everybody. There is car parking at either end of Disney Springs. One of them is Orange Garage and the other one is Lime Garage. Sadly, I got the found here due to copyright laws on YouTube, but this singer, pianist, was absolutely brilliant. And up until now, I've never seen a moving piano before. So as with all Disney parks, including Disney Springs, there is always, if you're using Disney World transportation, i.e. the buses, they will always tell you what bus stand you need to go to to get your bus, and they normally run every 15 minutes or so. So that brings an end to a walk around Disney Springs. Hope you've enjoyed it. I've tried to show you the shopping available, the food and snacks that are available, and where you can go for some entertainment as well if you don't want to spend all your time in the parks. Really is a worthwhile visit. If you are staying at any of the Disney resorts, you do get free transportation here to Disney Springs. And if you're going to Typhoon Lagoon, it normally stops here first on the way to Typhoon Lagoon on the Disney transportation system. If you do have any comments or questions, please do ask in the comments below. I'll always undertake to answer any questions you've got within a maximum of 48 hours. If you've enjoyed the video, please do give me a thumbs up like as it will really help the channel to grow. And please also consider subscribing if you've enjoyed the content. I've already put up a full review of Disney's All-Star Movies Resorts Hotel and I'll also be posting other videos of Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Disney Hollywood Studios and Disney's Animal Kingdom. So please do check those out if you've had a chance to look at those yet. Thanks very much for watching 
and I'll catch up with you on the next video. Cheers.